Welcome back. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make chipotle chili salsa in just two steps. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mexican Cooking Academy, where we celebrate Mexican food, culture, and cuisine. For years now, I've been obsessed with Mexican food. And in September 2020, I decided to make a move down to Mexico and bring Mexican food out to the rest of the world. And that's what we are doing today. We are making chipotle chili salsa. As always, you'll find this recipe and all the other ones right down in the description below. And for this recipe, you're going to want to have 200 grams of husked tomatoes or also known as tomatillos. You'll want 100 grams of chipotles adobados or chipotles in their own adobo sauce. You'll want one quarter to one half of a white onion, five grams of salt, and one clove of garlic. Now just a note on chiles adobados. In Mexican culture and cuisine, ad chipotles adobados means that they are marinated in their own salsa or sauce. That's a thick, smoky, rich, and spicy uh, blend of chilies and these chipotle chilies are sitting right in that sauce. Other cultures such as Filipino culture, Puerto Rican culture have their own versions of adobo sauce which is not quite the same as what they use in Mexico so make sure when you are looking for chipotles adobados that they are the Mexican version. And before we go any further if you love Mexican food and culture as much as I do then hit that subscribe button and the like button and also Get on my mailing list. You can do that at MexicanCookingAcademy.com and I have a link posted right down below in the description. Now we want to start our preparation by placing these tomatillos in uh, heavily salted water that's boiling. And we're going to boil these tomatillos for 15 minutes until they turn pale yellow. Meanwhile, place all the remaining ingredients, all the raw ingredients, including chilies adobados, into your blender or food processor. After 15 minutes and once your tomatillos are pale yellow, pull those off the heat, drain the tomatillos and add them hot into the blender. We are going to pulse these and process them for about 20 to 30 seconds until it becomes a smooth homogeneous mass. And that's it, you're done. <laughs> it's simple as that, it's two steps. Boil the tomatillos, blend them. Add in a little bit of salt at the end to make sure it uh, balances out all the flavors and enhances them and it helps preserve the salsa for longer. It should keep for about one week in your refrigerator. The smoky flavor of the salsa goes really well with meat such as pork and chicken and beef in general. I also added some into my cream of mushroom soup that I made this weekend and it was divine. It was really, really good. And despite all the chilies used in the salsa, it's not really that spicy as you would imagine it might be. So don't be afraid to make the salsa if you really like Mexican cuisine. I suggest you give this a try and let me know down below how that worked out for you. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button and get on my mailing list through my website or at the link down below. If you have any questions for me about this recipe or any of the other ones, just leave a comment down below and I'll get right back to you. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, live long and prosper.